And the bottom line here, this vaccine requires two shots. And if people don't go back for that second shot, it's just not going to work. Here's why some health experts are worried that might happen. Oregon is still on track to receive 147,000 vials of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines by December 22nd. Both vaccines require two shots for it to work. I interviewed Oregon Health and Science University professor and vaccine researcher Mark Slifka about this timeline. We're so close to having people in Oregon get vaccinated. I mean, just how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, this is just, uh, it's amazing. I mean, to take a look at the challenges involved with taking a vaccine from concept all the way through clinical trials and now being able to utilize that in the community during a pandemic, uh, it's absolutely remarkable. Once you get that first shot, the way to be immune is not over. Pfizer requires two doses to be taken three weeks apart. Moderna requires four weeks between shots. The first dose is there to train the immune system, and then you really need that second dose to boost the immune system to its highest peak levels to give you the most durable immunity. It's common for vaccines to require two or more doses. The chickenpox vaccine, the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine require two doses. The tetanus shot requires three doses. People can expect some side effects with the COVID vaccines, including fatigue, muscle pain, fever, or chills for a day or two after receiving the shot. Some experts, including researchers at the University of Michigan, worry those symptoms and other factors like no-show rates for medical appointments and conspiracy theories could mean as much as 30 percent of the population may not get the second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. If millions of people don't get that second dose, the virus could mutate and become vaccine resistant. But Slifka is more confident. Based on the Pfizer trials, people will come back for that second dose. He said in those trials, participants rarely missed the second shot. So if that first dose was horrible, they wouldn't have come back for a second dose. So most people are able to tolerate it. Plus, it's one of our only shots to fight this pandemic. Slifka said you should also expect to feel side effects after the second shot. And it's important that we talk about these side effects so people know it's normal and how important it is to go back and get that second dose. Do you have questions about this vaccine? I know you do. We read them. We see them every day. Just let us know. Keep using that hashtag. Hey, Dan.